Hello everyone, let's practice some MCQs from the subject Dental Histology. Morphological stages of tooth development are explained based on shape of enamel organ, shape of tooth germ, functions of enamel organ, shape of dental papilla. The correct answer is shape of enamel organ. They are named after the shape of the epithelial part of the tooth germ and are called the bird, cap and bell stages. High levels of albumin is present in inner enamel epithelium, outer enamel epithelium, stellate reticulum and stratum intermedium. High levels of albumin is present in stellate reticulum. The spaces in stellate reticulum are filled with albumin-rich mucoid fluid that gives the stellate reticulum a cushion-like consistency and thus protects the delicate enamel forming cells. Identify the tooth development stage from the following image. Cap stage, late bell stage, board stage and bell stage. This is just a cap stage. The cap stage is the second stage of tooth development. As the tooth board matures, it takes part of dental lamina along with it, which is called the lateral lamina. The explanation is quite long. I am not going to read it. In all regions of tooth, enamel formation proceeds pulp to DZ, DZ to surface, surface to DZ, DZ to pulp. In all regions of tooth, enamel formation proceeds from DZ towards the surface. The enamel formation then proceeds coronally and cervically in all regions from the DZ towards the surface. In addition, the cervical portion of the enamel organ gives rise to the epithelial root sheath of Hartwig. The Hartwig's epithelial root sheath HERS outlines the future root and is thus responsible for the shape, length, size and number of roots. In which vitamin deficiency the ameloblast fail to differentiate properly? Vitamin A, B, C, D. Ameloblast fail to differentiate properly in absence of vitamin A. In vitamin A deficiency, the ameloblast fail to differentiate properly. Consequently, their organizing influence on the adjacent mesenchymal cells is disturbed and atypical dentin known as osteodentin is formed. Membrana preformativa is separating basement membrane between enamel organ and dental papilla just prior to dentin formation. Separating basement membrane between enamel organ and dental papilla just after dentin formation. Membrana preformativa. This is the separating basement membrane between enamel organ and dental papilla just prior to dentin formation. That's the correct answer. So I didn't read all these options. Membrana preformativa. Former basement membrane separating the dental papilla from the IDE. Future dentino enamel junction. IDE means inner dental epithelium. Enamel poles are found in occlusal surface of premolars, forcation areas of permanent molars, on the incisal edges of incisors, none of the above. Enamel poles are found in the forcation area of permanent molars. Enamel poles are one of a number of different enamel structures that can be found on the roots of deciduous and permanent teeth. Here you can see in the diagram that can be found on the roots of deciduous and permanent teeth. They have a distinct predilection for the forcation area. In the forcation area they are mostly found of molar, particularly the maxillary third and second molars. Nutrition for ameloblast after the first layer of enamel is laid is after the first layer of enamel is laid the ameloblast receive nutrition from dental sac, odontoblastic process reduced enamel epithelium and dental papilla after the first layer of enamel is laid the nutrition is not received from dental papilla from dental sac it receives the 
nutrition. The first appearance of dentin seems to be a critical phase in the life cycle of the inner enamel epithelium. As long as it is in contact with the connective tissue of the dental papilla, it receives nutrient material from the blood vessels of this tissue. When dentin forms, however, it cuts off the ameloblast from their original source of nourishment. So the answer is not dental papilla. From dental sac it receives. And from then on, they are supplied by the capillaries that surround and may even penetrate the outer enamel epithelium. This reversal of nutritional source is characterized by proliferation of capillaries of the dental sac and by reduction and gradual disappearance of the stellate reticulum. Thus, the distance between the capillaries and the stellate reticulum, stratum intermedium and the ameloblast layer is shortened. Experiments with vital stents demonstrate this reversal of the nutritional stream. Ameloblasts are 2 to 3 micrometer in diameter and 20 micrometer in height. I think this B is the correct answer. Let's see. Okay. 4 to 5 micrometer in diameter and 40 micrometer in height. Ameloblasts are and no any explanation has been given for this. You need to just memorize it. During cap stage, signaling in odontogenic epithelium is done by in the cap stage, dental follicle, enamel knot, dental papilla, inner enamel epithelium. Signaling is done by enamel knot. Enamel knot, the cells in the center of the enamel organ are densely packed to form the enamel knot. You pause the video and see all these definitions. Outer and inner enamel epithelium is first seen in which stage? Bird stage, advanced bell stage, cap stage and bell stage. Outer and inner enamel epithelium is first seen in cap stage. The peripheral cells of the cap stage are cuboidal, cover the convexity of the cap and are called the outer enamel epithelium. The cells in the concavity of the cap become tall columnar cells and represent the inner enamel epithelium. Following is derivative of dental lamina, epithelial rest of molasses, enamel poles, rest of series, all of the above. Which is the derivative of dental lamina? The correct answer is rest of serre. Option C, rest of serre is a remnant of dental laminal epithelium entrapped within gingiva. Option A and B are remnants of Hortwig epithelial root sheath. Stratum intermedium first appears during which stage? Board stage, cap stage, bell stage, none of the above. Stratum intermedium first appears during the bell stage. Four different types of epithelial cells can be distinguished on light microscopic examination of the bell stage of the enamel organ. The cells form the inner enamel epithelium, the stratum intermedium, the stellate reticulum and the outer enamel epithelium. The junction between the inner and outer enamel epithelium is called cervical loop and it is an area of intense mitotic activity. Which genes constitute uh, gene group clusters which are dispersed outside the homeobox gene clusters and they are transcriptional regulators controlling pattern formation? FGF8, BMP5, GSC and LHX dispersed outside the homeobox gene cluster. LHX, I just guessed it, it was quite a hard question. Numerous genes interact either act in conjunction, antagonize each other in odontogenesis. The expression of the FGF8 in the first branchial arc epithelium, LHX67 in the adjacent ectomesenchyme of the first branchial arc along with the restricted expression of GSC in the ectomesen kind finally, reg finally regulate the oral and aboral axis. The explanation is quite long. You please pause the video and go it through. Even if I recite, you cannot make it all. Stratum intermedium present in between. Stratum intermedium is present in between the Stellate reticulum and inner enamel epithelium. I think so. Yeah. 
a few layers of squamous cells from the stratum intermedium between the inner enamel epithelium and the stellate reticulum. Let's cut this and just see the figure here. The stratum intermedium is seen between the stellate reticulum and the inner enamel epithelium layer. That's it. In multi-rooted teeth, formation of multiple roots is due to the presence of epithelial diaphragm, cell rest of malaces, tooth bud division or bell stays, none of the above. Formation of multiple roots is due to the presence of epithelial diaphragm. Prior to beginning of root formation, the HERS forms the epithelial diaphragm, the outer and enamel outer and the inner enamel epithelia bend at the future CEZ into a horizontal plane narrowing the wide cervical opening of the tooth germ. Differential growth of the epithelial diaphragm in the multi-rooted teeth causes the root trunk into two or three roots. That's all for today's MCQ's practice session. If you like this video give a thumbs up and stay tuned we'll meet in next video from a different topic tomorrow. Thanks for watching.